I would like to recommend this service to you, which I believe will be very helpful to survivors of narcissistic abuse. Being Verified provides you with access to public information so you can make better and safer decisions. If you are currently dating, especially online, you need to be aware of a few alarming facts. 53% of people lie on their dating profiles. One in 10 dating profiles are fake. 42% of Tinder users aren't even single. Even if you think you know someone, they may be hiding details about their life that could affect your future, such as DUIs, drug charges, or financial red flags that could seriously complicate your future together. Being verified helps you protect yourself by scanning public information so you can learn more about a potential date or partner. This link gets you 15% off. All you have to do is input their name and state, or even just an email address, and being verified will scan through millions of public records and reports results in seconds. Being verified will let you know contact information, address history, relatives, known associates, neighbors, criminal records, traffic records, bankruptcies, job and education history, and social media accounts. Being verified could even continuously monitor this person so you can be notified if anything changes. This can be a very powerful tool in the early stages of a relationship. Don't get catfished and don't get caught off guard. Try being verified today. The only way to make the narcissist respect you. There is only one way to make the narcissist respect you. There is only one way to make the narcissist have a high opinion of you. When the narcissist first met you, they didn't admire or respect you, although they made it seem as though they did. They admired your abilities, qualities or or achievements but they had no respect for you. And that is why it was so easy for them to come into your life to trick and deceive you. It was so easy for them to take advantage of you. Without any feelings of remorse or regret, without feeling as though they had done something wrong. And when you couldn't meet their impossibly high expectations, they then began to devalue the very things that first attracted them to you your abilities, qualities or achievements. Because the truth is that nothing and no one could ever satisfy the narcissist. They will always be dissatisfied. And while it may seem as though they respected you in the beginning, it was actually just an illusion. They admired what you had to offer, but they didn't treat it with any respect. They only love bombed you to secure you as a source of supply so that they could then use you for their own needs. The narcissist never admired or respected you as a person. They never valued or appreciated you. And as they began to realize that once again they could not feel satisfied with who they are with, they began to devalue you. They chose to project their feelings of low self-worth onto you because it's either you or them. And nothing is worse for them than having to accept that they are at fault or that they are the problem. They have to disrespect you in order to sustain their false sense of respect for themselves. There is only one way to make the narcissist respect you. There is only one way 
to make the narcissist have a high opinion of you. And it all starts by respecting yourself. If you respect yourself, other people will begin to respect you. If you value yourself, other people will begin to value you. And you may feel as though you do value and respect yourself. But if that's really true, why are you still involved with a narcissist? Why are you still involved with someone who does not value and respect you? If you really valued and respected yourself, you would not be involved with someone who does not value and respect who you are. Practice the act of self-respect. Practice the act of having pride and confidence in yourself. The only way that the narcissist will value you, the only way that they will ever respect you, is if you no longer tolerate their disrespect. Without self-respect, you are susceptible to being used, abused and mistreated by the narcissist. You believe that you deserve to be treated that way. You stick around hoping that they're going to change, but that's not going to happen. The narcissist is never going to respect who you are as a person because they do not respect themselves. But if you decide to respect yourself and move on, they will be forced to respect your decision. The decision of no longer being accepting or tolerant of the abuse. That is the only decision you make that they will ever respect. And while they may never accept the reasons why you have chosen to move on, they will be forced to accept that you believe you deserve better. And you do deserve better. No one is deserving of abuse. Everyone deserves to be treated with respect. And if you are a person who respects yourself, you will always have respect for the people around you. The only way to make the narcissist respect you, the only way to make the narcissist have a high opinion of you, is to no longer accept how they are treating you, to no longer stick around and let them continue their disrespect towards you. You have to move on. That is the only way that you can respect yourself in that situation. And that is the only way that the narcissist will ever respect you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxovercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.